Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. World Championships silver medalist Cheyenne Salmon and sprinter Ashanti Moore are now being conditioned by Maurice Wilson at the Sprint Tech Track Club at GC Foster College. The two have returned home to prepare for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, having been based overseas for the past few seasons. Salmon, who ran in the heats on Jamaica's four, silver medal winning 4x400 meter relay team in Budapest, Hungary this past summer, was previously being coached by American 1996 Olympic bronze medalist Tonja Buford Bailey. Moore, who turned pro in 2021, ran in the heats of the 200 meters at the World Championships in Budapest in the summer. Moore had been working with renowned Florida-based coach Lance Broman at the Pure Athletics Track Club for the past two seasons. Now with last year's winners, Jamaica College failing to qualify, 2022 beaten finalists, Kingston College will look to keep the ISA Champions Cup in the urban area as they'll kick things off against Dintil Technical on Saturday at the National Stadium. The match will be the opening game of the double header at 3pm with the Costa Cup holders Clarendon College playing St George's College in the second match at 515 the other two matches will see Heidel High taking on Garvin Maceo at 2 p.m. at Stets, while Mona High will play in the second game in Santa Cruz against Glenmuir at 4.15. Meanwhile, the ISA Rural Area Ben Francis Knockout Competition kicks off on Wednesday with four matches, including last season's beaten finalists, Stets hosting William Nib. Happy Grove will also play Mile Gully at Case, while Froome Technical entertain Taki at Landilo Sports Complex. McGraw will also play Port Antonio at Ewerton Sports Complex. Also, the Walker Cup is set to begin today with four games set to take place. Excelsior will host St. Jago. Last year's beaten finalists, Haile Selassie, oppose Eltham. Champion battle Jonathan Grant, while Woolmer's boys play Kingston Technical. All matches begin at 3 in the afternoon. India are through to the final of the ICC 50 over Cricket World Cup after a 70-run win over New Zealand in Mumbai today. Electing to bat, India first posted a formidable 397 for four from their 50 overs. Virat Kohli continued to add to his illustrious resume, smashing 117 off 113 deliveries, including nine fours and two sixes. He was supported by an aggressive century from Shreyas R, who made 105 off 70 balls. The two shared in a 163-run partnership. Shubman Gill ended on 80 not out. Tim, Tim Southey took three wickets, so while Trent Bolt was the only other Kiwi wicket taker. New Zealand, in their pursuit, put up a valiant effort, but it wasn't good enough as they fell short at 327 all out. Daryl Mitchell top scored for the Kiwis with 134 from 119 balls. Captain Kane Williamson helped with a 49, while Glenn Phillips got 41. Mohamed Shami was unstoppable with the ball, claiming 7 for 57, while there was a wicket apiece for Kuldeep Yadav and Jasper Bumrah. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shane. Thanks, Jordan. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.